audio settings are one of the most overlooked aspects by players in Sea of Thieves, but little do they know, there are actually some hidden settings which will enhance your gameplay, making it smoother, easier, and actually advantageous to have enabled. They could even be the difference between sinking and surviving. These are the top 5 hidden settings which will help you improve at Sea of Thieves and even assist you in reaching the PvP curses, making your journey easier, as well as providing general quality of life changes to your game. Be sure to stick around until the very end for the best setting in the game, which will provide you with X-ray-like vision. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. The first hidden gem we're going to be talking about is actually something you probably didn't expect. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a free-to-play PC and mobile MMORPG, which features an expansive universe with diverse champions. Engage in raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaigns, and PvP arena matches, and the new Hydra Clash. The Hydra, a fresh addition to clan battles, emerges with four heads, each holding distinct abilities and the ability to respawn two more heads after defeat. For instance, the Head of Wrath weakens and taunts your team, gaining a powerful vengeance buff after being hit 15 times, tripling its attack power. Beware of this dangerous power boost to avoid unfavorable consequences. The Head of Blight poisons your team, shields the other Hydra heads, and deploys a poison cloud, reducing the accuracy of your attacks. Expect weaker attacks and potential debuff misses, jeopardizing the fight. You must prioritize swiftly eliminating this head, particularly since it's highly susceptible to fire and HP burn attacks. And right now, you can access a top tier epic champion, Stagnite, and their Jontron designed skin. New players use the promo code JTSKIN by October 7th to claim them, and for those of you who already play the game, you can obtain Stagnite and the new skin via an in game event. You can also discover Sun Wukong, raid spin on the playful Monkey King, a free legendary champion. Simply log in to raid for 7 days until October 23rd to claim this incredible champion. No need for a heroic journey, just log in and that's all. Also, remember to engage in the new Hydra Clash event. Exciting updates are arriving in raid, and if you haven't started playing, what's the hold up? New players, use my link or scan the QR code on the screen for a free starter pack with this awesome in-game loot. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to begin. I look forward to seeing you in the game. Have you ever been in a fight with an enemy ship? It's neck and neck and can go either way, only to have this giant letterbox cover your screen, blocking your health and your ammo, all because the game thought it was imperative that you know you're slightly too close to Crook's Hollow. I know I have, and it can be very distracting and actually very detrimental to the outcome of the fight. If you've taken damage but you don't know, or you get food wrecked, or maybe you fired your weapon but not kept tally of how many bullets you've actually fired, this could be the difference between sinking or surviving. Well, luckily for you, I have a setting where you can actually change this. In order to turn this off and change it to a sleeker, less intrusive design, you need to head over to your HUD settings, scroll down to the Banners subcategory, and switch the Island Banners from Cinematic to Slimline or Off. And now you can enjoy fighting near islands, or even just going around the world without feeling like you're getting blindfolded when you even step too close to an island. Off. No. Off. I don't want to sit down. There's a high probability you've also experienced the frustration you've just witnessed. Sitting down or interacting with your trinkets when trying to open a barrel, the map table, or interact with anything else on your ship. It's annoying, it's sluggish, and just a plain nuisance. The last thing you want to do is sit down and be taken out of control when you're trying to do something else, and god forbid this happens during a fight. Thankfully, there is a way to disable this irritating feature, which, unless you like to roleplay, is likely never utilized anyway. Head on over to your gameplay settings, and under the input subcategory, you can disable your desired setting here. Here. This next setting is one you've probably all enabled anyway, but it's so important that I have to include it in this video. Enabling crew status tags. This simple and unassuming setting will allow you to see your crew's name tags from farther away and also what they're interacting with. For example, let's say you have no communication with your teammate, and you look towards your boat seeing your crewmate run around with a bucket for a long time. It's safe to assume your ship is not in a good condition, and now you have to make the decision do you want to go back to your ship or stay on the enemy ship and try and secure the sink. You can enable this setting under the HUD settings, scroll down to the name tags subcategory, and switch the crew status tags to on. The setting simply provides more information at the expense of not a lot, except for maybe your crewmate's tag blocking some information in front of you, but that never really happens. It's one of the most important settings to have enabled, so I highly recommend turning this 
on. Now, before we move on to the best hidden setting in the game, we have one more to discuss. Static interaction prompts. What I mean by this is when you interact with the world around you, instead of the prompt being on top of the interactive, the prompt appears at the bottom of your screen, allowing you to more easily see the prompt. This can help in scenarios where you might be able to grab the ladder from the water, but you wouldn't have been able to see the prompt if it wasn't static, or even grab onto the wheel from an angle you didn't know was possible beforehand. It provides many benefits that having it disabled doesn't. There's really no reason not to enable this. To enable it, head on over to your HUD settings and under the menus subcategory, toggle on the fixed position for interact prompts. This has been a huge help with my loop sprinting too, and also just grabbing things where I, you know, wouldn't have seen it from the angle I was looking at. And now for the final setting of the video, the best setting, which can provide you with insane vision, allowing you to easily spot your enemies water quality. This is something people often like to keep high because the water looks pretty, but what they don't realize is that it actually hinders your ability to concentrate and see enemies swimming in the water. Turning this setting down will make the quality appear smoother and have less detail, meaning enemies aren't being covered up by loads of reflections or waves from the water. Head on over to your graphic settings and under water quality, set this to common or cursed. They both do the same thing. And now as you can see, the enemy is much easier to see in the water and easier to focus on, allowing me to hit more of my shots and not get overwhelmed by the amount of information on my screen. A quick bonus setting which people may not know is that your model quality directly affects treasure render distance. If you've ever noticed your crewmate harpooning loot which you cannot see until it gets closer to you, this is more than likely because you have your model quality on cursed or common. Switch this over to rare and you are good to go. Now you can see the loot at the regular render distance. Note, Mythical and Legendary have no effect on the distance, so you're better off just keeping it on rare for performance. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. It helps me out more than you can imagine, and it only takes a second. These have been the best hidden settings in Sea of Thieves. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Take care, my friends.